Hey guys, this is going to be a, a real quick video. Uh, one of my videos, I kind of talked about budget night vision and how there really isn't budget night vision. Um, but there are a few places you can cut corners, and one of them was using a Rhino 2 mount and a dovetail adapter uh, to be able to use a dovetail system uh, without spending uh, the $450 to $500 on something like a Neurotos Losto. Uh, so I picked up a Rhino 2 on eBay. This is different from the standard Rhino, uh, which is black um, and made of steel. This is made of titanium. Uh, the difference is it's going to have this sliding adjustment, so you can adjust it uh, after you set your tilt to line up with your eyes better. Uh, the normal Rhino doesn't have that adjustment, so you know you're you're kind of stuck with where it is. The other thing that's nice is uh, instead of two rods that this slides on, you've got this kind of I beam rail system. So it slides freely back and forth, and then when you tighten it down, it takes all the slop out, so you don't have any wiggle. So I picked one of these up on eBay, anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks. Um, you can find them in pretty good condition. This one's in really good condition, uh, just a surplus Rhino. And then I got this from DRTO. Uh, this is a Neurotos AKA uh, Quick Change Dovetail Adapter. And they go for, I think it was like 79 bucks. Uh, so all in, you know, 150 bucks, and you've got the equivalent of a $500 piece. Um, it doesn't sit as low when it's folded, obviously, uh, compared to, lock that down. So you can see where the, the night vision, how it mounts. It's going to be here on the Neurotos, on the uh, Losto, and up like this on the Rhino. But, you know, if you're not running in and out of vehicles and you don't really need the clearance, it's not that huge a deal. And obviously it's a lot better than just the Rhino. So here's how I do the conversion. Man, that's tight. Uh, so what you're going to need are some vice grips, some channel locks, a uh, big old wad of blue tape, paper clip, and I picked up some extra roll pins. Uh, these are 3 32nd by 1 quarter inch uh, steel roll pins. I just got these from my master car uh, because when you pull these out, sometimes they get mangled up, so I just put fresh ones in. So this is held in place by these two roll pins. You only have to remove one of them. And what you do, try I'm trying to do this around the tripod, so I'm probably going to mess it up, but stick a paper clip in the roll pin. And what that'll do is that'll support it, because when you grab it with the vice grips, you don't want it to crush, because uh, if it crushes flat, it's going to squeeze in, and then it'll keep slipping off, and then you'll have to drill it out. So, hopefully I can do this in one take here. I'm just going to... All right, so you can see how I've got the paper clip in there. And I'm just going to grab the roll pin. <clears throat> okay. I should be able to just... <clears throat> there we go. Now it's out. All right. So you can see the roll pin still got pretty mangled. So that's why I just got... I can't even get that off. Uh, that's why I picked these up. You got to pick up like 50 at a time, but it's like $5. So... Not a huge deal. All right. So now that I got the front roll pin off, I can just slide off my horn mount. I can take my dovetail adapter. That goes right on. And you want to make sure that it's facing in the right direction so that you can mount from the front. So lock that down, take my some folded up tape, just protect the finish a little bit, get my roll pin, get it started, and just kind of use a little brute force to kind of just stick it in there until it holds still. Am I in frame? Sorry if I'm out of frame. All right, so I'm just kind of teetering it there. Take my channel locks, and then I'm just going to kind of mangle this a little bit until it's straight, and then squeeze down. Hang on. I can do this upside down here, better angle. Alright, you can see it's starting to go down. 
And this is a one quarter inch roll pin. And I just squeeze it all the way down until it stops. I hope that was in frame. I wasn't looking at the screen. So now I've got a dovetail adapter and I can run either my D14 dual bridge. Awesome. Or my 15s. Sweet. Uh, so if you look at the Neurotos low still, you'll notice how there's this little slot cut here. And that's so that if you have this farther back, you can still reach the button and take your nods off. I actually like that it's this way, because when you adjust it back to where you want it to be, there's no way to accidentally hit that clip and dump your nods on the ground, because it would suck to send 12 grand worth of optics into the dirt. So the only way to get it off is to undo it, pull it all the way out, and then push the button. So that's actually not a bad way to go. I know some people have milled that out to make it more like the original, but I like leaving it as is. So. Anyway, the, that's how you do a, uh, a budget dovetail mount uh, for your PBS 14 bridge or 15s uh, or whatever. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll answer it. See you.